Uh, we have a few more minutes with our boys from Betlam, John Betlam Heating and Cooling. You have something for him? Yes, Jim. One of you, Jims. Uh, which, uh, whatever one wants to do. Jim Lytle this. and Jim Betlam. By yes, the way. thank you. Uh, if, if I were new to the area or I don't really have anybody in mind to use, uh, what, what, I mean, what am I looking for to get a good, competent heating and cooling contractor to come in and service my equipment? Uh, great question. And it, we're lucky in Rochester because there are very, very many uh, qualified contractors in our area, great competitors uh, who provide honest service at a, at a fair value. And we're happy to compete with those guys. At the end of the day, uh, at John Betlam Heating and Cooling, we, we begin by asking questions and trying to uh, understand uh, uh, homeowners' answers so that we can design a solution for them that will, in fact, uh, not only satisfy their needs, but, but truly exceed them. Uh, one of the cornerstones to our work is uh, putting the customer's health and safety first so that whatever we do for them, the system is going to uh, uh, keep them safe, keep them comfortable, and provide the peace of mind that they would hope to uh, uh, expect from an investment like this. Uh, at John Betlam Heating and Cooling, we employ guys with great skills. We're not just mechanics, but we're craftsmen. And we have lots of experienced fellows who have been with us in excess of 20 years, which is quite remarkable in, in this industry where the, the turnover is reasonably high. We stand behind our work with a satisfaction guarantee. And we have to do what uh, Grandpa Betlam uh, launched his business on, uh, a simple credo of whatever it takes to satisfy the customer, uh, something that he did in 1941 and something that we're doing to this day uh, following that great advice. That's impressive. It certainly is, man. <laughs> spoken you like guys a, sound really good. Spoken like a true yeah. Betlam, which yeah. you're probably the only one in the company who's not a Betlam, Jim Lytle. <laughs> Jim Betlam is, is still here. Now, supposing, and this is the worst case scenario, I find out I need a new furnace. Uh, how do I know which one is best suited for my house? Because I have like, we have about a 1,500-square-foot house. And when it comes time to actually pick one out, uh, how did you put it, Alex? Does size matter? Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, naturally. <laughs> you know, the, the thing is, when, you, when, you, when, when you're faced with that uh, challenge of get, getting a contractor out there, you, you know, um, there, there's going to be a little question and answer period, but it, it's having a heat load done. Mm -hmm. um, uh, size does matter. Uh, you, you need to put in the right size. Uh, you know, a lot of times, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I heard that about you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, you got to make sure that, uh, the furnace is sized properly to get uh, the utmost in savings. So, um, you know, it, whoever comes out has to do a heat load and, mm -hmm. and do all the due diligence. And I'm always the bottom line guy. Well, how much is it going to run me for, uh, how much is it going to run me and how long will it take to put the thing in? Uh, so many variables, but, uh, you know, I, I could give you that standard answer. It could be anywhere from, you know, $3,500 to $10,000. So there's too many variables. You know, is there a chimney liner needed? Mm -hmm. Is there, you know, a condensate pump? Where, where's this going? Where's that going? So, uh, a lot of variables, but typically on, on standard, uh, you're talking a one day installation, uh, especially if it's heating only and, and some consumers because they're getting that $1,500 uh, back for yeah, the federal yeah. tax credit. They're opting to go with air conditioning because we just went through that uh, very hot and humid uh, summer. So they don't want to oh. be stuck uh, again with that. Speaking I, of air conditioning, <laughs> is it a good idea to buy an air conditioning cover? I bought one of those ones and put it on the air conditioner. And is that it, terrible or is that a good idea? You made a face. Well, uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm glad you brought that up. We, we used to always tell uh, homeowners that, <clears throat> excuse me, a piece of plywood and a, and a heavy brick. Well, air conditioning covers are now domed. Um, there is a product out there now that uh, is actually a, made of uh, recycled rubber. It's a very hard, durable top. We want to protect the air conditioners from the top. Uh, you do not want to uh, cover them with plastic because the moisture gets up in between the plastic and the casing, and you're going to prematurely rust that out. So you want it uh, very breathable, and, and there is a product out there that uh, can protect it from the top. And uh, you know what? Air conditioning units are not cheap. No. So, you know, you're talking, you know, 3000 4000 so, you know, you want to protect it, certainly. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I know what I'm doing later. I know, I, know it's, I know it's December, but you can't beat central air in the house, man. It's just the best. Yeah. Jim? Actually, a air conditioning cover makes a great 
Christmas gift if you're looking for oh, some ideas. Oh, are you going to get me one for Christmas? That's so nice of you. We just met. <laughs> it better not be my big present. <laughs> That's all I can I know. say. I'm asking for a Porsche again this year. Well, you might That's have my to for an air conditioning <laughs> Yeah, no, it does make sense. So it's just uh, you know for the that that's a perfect sense. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of times you're you're always wondering what to get your your parents and uh, ah. that have everything. This is a perfect way to uh, you know make sure their air conditioner is going to be protected while they're down in Florida. Oh, that's a nice <laughs> gift. I think I don't know if my mother would punch me out though if I got her something like that. I mean, it didn't work when I got her a microwave or the and, toaster. Yeah, yeah the or toaster. the vacuum cleaner or that either. You're that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that guy. Oh, don't be that guy. <laughs> something that they didn't need. They needed. You know what I mean? <laughs> anything else, guys? I mean, you're the experts. I don't know if we missed anything. If it's uh, uh, you came in with one thought you wanted to get across, and you said these nitwits didn't even know to ask that. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, I think we uh, covered a lot in a short amount of time, but uh, I, I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm sure uh, Mr. Lytle has a uh, closing thought or two. How much time do we have? Not uh, enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, not enough. No, I would just say that uh, that that thing down in the basement does, in fact, require a little attention. And whether it needs to be replaced or not, someone can help you decide that. But uh, please don't ignore it. Uh, your family's safety is on the line here, and your family's comfort. And uh, getting that qualified professional in there, that $100 plus or minus that you pay to get that done uh, is money well spent uh, because it provides you another year of uh, comfort and safe living in your home. I will back you up 100% on that qualified expert aspect because I'm the guy who hates to go downstairs and do anything with a furnace because I'm convinced as soon as I lift the cover off the front of it, it's going to explode in my face. Paranoia. Yeah, well, it may be that. It certainly is a lack of knowledge. That's why I depend on, uh, on smart contractors like the gang at John Betlam Heating and Cooling. Jim and Jim, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. As soon as we thanks. get off the air, you can partake in our breakfast buffet in the green room. We'll uh, welcome you in for that. <laughs> <laughs> next week on Property Source Radio. We are, what are we doing next week? Oh, we're having uh, M&M's, MCM Stone coming on next week. MCM Stone. Yeah, they did my granite countertops last week or the week before. I can't remember. They're very fired up to come in and talk to us, and it's going to be a great show because they're going to talk about recycled products, all kinds of fun things. Um, you know, what they do, what you can opt for in terms of their new uh, out. They built out and put on equipment. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did you just say that you're going to talk about recycled products? Yes, we are going to talk about it. I'm so glad this gets recorded. (laughs) I totally can't believe it. (laughs) I'm doing it for our guest. Okay. All right. All right. Every Saturday, 9 to 10, it's Property Source Radio. Don't forget to go to the website, uh, propertysource.com, propertysourceradio.com for everything you need to know about uh, uh, real estate, rentals, home improvement, tips, information, everything you need to know is right there at the website. Anything else? I don't think so yet. Any questions? No. How much time? Any answers? (laughs) I I have nothing. So one more time, how do I get a hold of John Betlam Heating and Cooling? Sing Sing it. it. Yeah. Call 271-8888, John Betlam Heating and Cooling. Happy holidays, everybody. Yeah, we have American Idol auditions coming up in a few weeks. We'll uh, invite you in for that. All right, we'll we'll see you next Saturday back to ESPN Radio. Thanks for joining us on Property Source Radio here at Sports Radio 950 ESPN.